news update. Seven new civil suits have been filed against rapper Sean Diddy Combs. And this is, the, for the first time now, discussing these allegations, we now know that other celebrities have also been accused of participating in one of those alleged assaults, though these celebrities have not yet been named. Now, the latest lawsuits include allegations of rape, sexual assault, sexual harassment, battery, or false imprisonment by Combs. The lawsuit includes two from accusers who say that they were minors at the time, that they were allegedly drugged and assaulted by the record producer. This latest round of accusations includes an allegation that he drugged and raped a 13-year-old girl with an unnamed male celebrity as an unnamed female celebrity watched. The 13-year-old's name is presented as Jane Doe in the lawsuit, which says that when she was 13 years old on September 7, 2000, she tried to attend the MTV Music Awards. She approached limousine drivers to see if she could attend an event uh, after party. One of the drivers allegedly worked for Combs and drove the plaintiff to a party where she signed a non-disclosure agreement and accepted a drink. After one drink, the plaintiff said she began to feel woozy and lightheaded and went to an empty bedroom to lie down. Soon after, the plaintiff alleges Combs entered the room with a male and female celebrity. She says she was raped by the male and female celebrity and then raped by Combs as both celebrities watched. This was, a, again, a 13-year-old girl. That's the claim. Now, anyone can make a claim about anything, to be clear, so these need to be properly adjudicated, but now this is... Uh, an accusation not just of um, people who were already engaged in sex work. There were some allegations of them being given drugs to keep them performing. And this is full-on sexual assault of a minor at the, at the property, that she was given a drink, incapacitated, and, and raped by Diddy and also another celebrity. So what we're really going to be waiting is to hear the names of these other people and this sounds more and more to me like the music industry's Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Like this is the same situation where because it's not just about him, it is about a vast network of other people who were involved, who either had full knowledge of what was going on or were themselves involved and said nothing for years for decades. Now some of the people that were included in Jeffrey Epstein's uh, ring, his operation were of course prosecuted, Gillian Maxwell obviously being um, the one who recruited a lot of the, the young women. But of course there are people that we are aware of from his flight records and from other court documents over the last 25 years uh, since he, you know, he did go into jail the first time in Florida that were not prosecuted. Some people had separate lawsuits like Les Wexner from Victoria's Secret. Uh, but what's interesting about that is it seems like a lot of the folks who may have taken part in this and some who have even been named by uh, some of the defendant or some of the, the the plaintiffs in these cases have never been prosecuted, and so I'm curious that even if the names we don't even out, know their identities, even though they are presumably known to law enforcement, to right. the authorities. Well, I mean, and, and that's what's wild is they are, and you know why weren't they sued? So if you were potentially uh, not just the victim of of, of Elon, uh, Elon Musk, oh my God, Jeffrey Epstein, excuse me, oh my God, that's a no, that was a mistake. Um, if you were a victim of Jeffrey Epstein, or if you were at his island and another person who was a celebrity assaulted you, I'm just curious why that person was never sued. And is this some part of, mm -hmm. you know, they, oftentimes they'll go after federal law enforcement, will go after the top person because other folks who are involved will cooperate. And so will that happen in this situation where Diddy will be the fall guy, as he should be, by the way, that he should definitely be prosecuted, and maybe a few people around him, maybe the Jillian Maxwell of his world, but maybe we won't know the celebrities ever because they'll be providing information. And I really hope that's not the case because if that's our only way to law enforcement, to, uh, to, to these investigations through law enforcement, we really need to re-examine mm -hmm. how we prosecute these rings because you know it shouldn't just be one person or three people liable everybody who's involved any sort of rape should be prosecuted we should the government should not be protecting folks just for information in these situations of course not and the the concern that so many of the public have is that in the Jeffrey Epstein case rich powerful people people in politics people in business prince andrew the british royal yeah. family people were protected because the, the system, the elites in the system, are themselves, right, it's their friends who were liable here, who were involved in all this, so that they went to elaborate lengths to hide from us the involvement of former presidents or the <laughs> leaders of financial companies like uh, the uh, Bank of America, Virgin Islands, uh, Bill Gates, a tremendous amount of interactions still between Bill Gates and, uh, and, and Jeffrey Epstein post 
the, uh, the period where he was arrested initially. This is one of the reasons, if we're reading between the lines, I think, that Melinda Gates decided to divorce Bill Gates was over his association with this man. So that's what happened in the Epstein case. The question becomes, in the Diddy case, will we see that same level of a desire to perhaps protect powerful people to shield them from scrutiny because they're the friends of the system, of the elites, of the authority system? And, and it might not be as politically relevant here, so maybe you won't have that. I, I agree. It may be but of course, celebrities are in, you know, influential people. Too. Celebrities have a lot of influence, some degree of influence in currency in the, uh, in the Democratic Party, as they've all, they're all endorsers of Kamala Harris, and enthusiastic backers. Uh, you know, George, George Clooney is one of the people more responsible not, for Joe Biden getting out of that. No, I'm just like, saying that. George Clooney does not deserve Absolutely not. I'm just saying that uh, Hollywood so, people are political and have involvement. They're also involvement. businesses. So yeah. think about it from the point if you're a producer and you own a company, a record label, that is a huge industry. I mean, you are bringing in a young talent like Usher and Justin Bieber, as we know. And think about all those times Justin Bieber was getting in trouble when he was, you know, 16 years old doing just wild things. And you found out he was drinking and he was on drugs. And later it seemed, I mean, he's definitely cleaned up his act, but it seemed like he had to, to move through a lot, as I'm sure Usher did too. They've been silent. You know, Usher, uh, and Usher is doing a rally with Kamala Harris and good for him. And Justin Bieber just had a baby. But these are folks that have been more visible in mm -hmm. this recruitment effort of, of uh, Diddy's. And let's not forget 50 Cent. 50 Cent for over a decade has been talking about P. Diddy doing these things. And now, not only is he producing a documentary on it, but he's come out and said that you know P. Diddy w was involved in Biggie Smalls' death. I want a documentary on that now. I mean, there's so many different stories that are going to come out of this, just like Epstein, just like uh, these other big, big rings. It's going to be entertainment for years, but hopefully we learn our lessons. And I don't think business like this should be built around sexual acts. If that's what's confusing is like they were trafficking things. There were guns. There were uh, young, young sex workers. By the way, legal. Uh, it's not legal to rape them, and it's not legal right. to drug them. So it's still... But I, I support legal, legal sex work of adult women and, and men, adult men and women, of it not underage and not against their will and not you know taking drugs without their knowledge or consent that affect their decision making. Um, I mean, one of the reasons I support legal sex work is you make it, we probably agree on this, yeah. you make it safer and less prone to abusive people taking advantage of you when it's above board instead of black market type thing. Hopefully, uh, but when you have an industry like yeah. the music industry, it's hard to avoid it. If, if a, a 13 year old girl who wants to go to an after party, and I feel so bad for that girl because you know, when you're that age, it's like fangirl era, and, and you... Yeah, but it should be pretty obvious that you're 13, and <laughs> you've got homework tonight, go home. <laughs> Clearly. Jesus. And the bodyguards, too. I, I understand that they're yeah. informants now, but they should be held accountable as well if they're helping facilitate these operations. Well, of course. It's really disgusting, and, and I don't know, maybe we've reached an era now where at least law enforcement can take this more seriously. That's what really frustrates me is in both Epstein and the Diddy situation, law enforcement was aware, aware. Of Everyone the was aware in the Epstein situation. Yes. Because he went to jail. He went to jail already. And then they're like, no big deal. Yeah. You know, keep doing what you're doing. He got a very light sentence given what he had. He was basically just house arrest. He could come and go yes. from the jail as he pleased. He? Um, and then he continued his abuse. He continued. He yeah. learned. Yeah. We will continue to follow that story in the days and weeks to come, and we have a lot more to talk about on Rising today. Stay tuned.